नमो तस् भगवतो अरे हातु संबुदस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरे हातु संबुदस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरे हातु All right, everyone. To recap the sections that we have gone through with the Dhamma Sang uh, Dhamma Chakapatana Sutta, <laughs> the Dhamma Chakapatana Sutta, I have shared with you a document. Uh, composed by Siali Agayani on the Dukkha Satcha. So I thought we could use this document to go over the Four Noble Truths, specifically the nature of Dukkha, the nature of Dukkha. Now, remember, when it comes to the realization or the seeing of the Chattali Sakara Vipassana, the 40 ways, of seeing the Dukkha, which I have also shared a uh, chart with you, right? Listing out the 40 ways um, described under Anicca, Dukkha and Anatta. Those 40 and those sections composing of the Dukkha is to be seen with regards to the Nama and the Rupa, which we will be discussing today, everyone. I invite anyone who has any questions to come forth and address those questions as well throughout the session. Dukkha. <clears throat> the widening, the wide-ranging meaning of the Pali term Dukkha is important to understand. The term occurs very frequently in the Buddha's teachings, and there is no single clear translation to English or even to any Western language. That covers the meaning in the con various contexts. Common translations, depending on the context, are suffering, insufficiency, inadequacy, imperfection, unsatisfactory nature, sorrow, affliction, misery, evil, plague, torment, discomfort, unpleasantness, pain, stress, problem. All of these describing or trying to describe what Dukkha could mean. So often the word Dukkha is left untranslated and as spoke and is spoken of as the word using the word Dukkha itself. The fact that Dukkha can be etymologically derived from various Pali words does not make things necessarily easier. Now, with the roots du dur, bad, difficult, worthless, miserable, repulsive, abdom uh, abo abon um, um, abominable, <laughs> the prelilus, all of these, du dur, this is the root of dukkha, right? The root of dukkha. You can the word dukkha has been has a root, right? The root of that con um, conjugation there is dur, du or dur. So, which means bad, difficult, worthless, miserable, repulsive, um, perilous, and so on, right? Kamati, dukkamati, right? Dukkamati. When that word is heard, that kamati here means endure, tolerate, right? Now, tolerate. So, dukkamati, dukkha, difficult to bear. Hari, etana dukkamati avama, etana, difficult to bear, referring to the kaya vinyana feeling, right? The feeling that arises through the kaya vinyana, the kaya pasada. So referring to that vedana that arises at the position of the original um, contact, right? Contact. 
So we can see that through the Pali word, right, we go over coming to the last kind of moment, sub-moments. This dukkha too, whatever that dukkha is, only lasts for that kind of moment, sub-moment. This is uppa, the titi and the banga. Uppa, the titi and the banga. The Patisambhita states, it can be seen directly that arising is suffering. It can be seen directly that existence is suffering. It can be, see, it can be seen directly that non-arising is happiness. It is straightforward to see that non-existence is happiness. Mithana, what do you mean by it can be seen directly? What do you think it can mean? That it can be seen directly that arising is suffering. Arising is suffering. Arising of what, everyone? Arising of what exactly? Oh, Devika, Kiana? I would say life. Coming into Life. birth. Birth. Birth yeah. is suffering. Hare. Devika, did you say birth, that the same thing? <laughs> I was interviewing. I was going to say, Ippadi mai parat mai nativi mai. Etu nama. Jati pi dukkha. Jara pi dukkha. Nenam dukkha. Evidhi etu now arising is suffering. Evu na da da api. Eta vada api danno meka. Kanavastavaka, a can in Dukaki in a day, Hatagandama, Ipidenama, Pavitanama, Shaven, O Padibanga. Although the Patisambida Marge can be seen directly that arising is suffering Kilakiwama. Yes, Apidanama, Jati Pidukka, Jara Pidukka. Maybe theatre, Jati Pidukka, Kiwama, are a Kanajati Akuti in one. Hare. There is a jati that happens after the demise of a body, the reappearance, the rising of a being physically, right? E jati yati, no? or just mentally. Hare. Or just mentally, mukut arupa thalit. E jati yati dukkha satyai, right? So the rising of mind and body, and in the moment to moment, dukkha. How can moment to moment dukkha be seen, everyone? What do you think? About moment to moment dukkha. When it comes to if arising is suffering, minna metanati in dukkha monwada. Mante, anything, anything which arises, pass away. Anything. Anything which arises, passes away. Hare. Hava monwada. So what do you mean? Anything that arises passes away. Okay, that's wonderful. So eka koma dapi galapa vanni. Anitya subhavya sovinasa. Anitya bhav. Anitya subhavya. Anitya ni meeni. Anitya kiyan ne pa. Minna meka dukkha subhavya. Hane. Then anitya subhavya. Yes, okay. Dukat anitya hari. Eat otukota, duke anitya bave, kiliki anni otukota, anitya bave. Right? Mm -hmm. Then make otur dukamunwad. Jagat muta, sorry. Yes, go ahead, please. Isaka, go ahead. Um, Mante, I was going to say, motak motak pass, I am. Padina Pancho Padanas Kande Dukai. Moka Mota Mota Pasa Ipidina Pancho Padanas Kande Dukai. A Pancho Padanas Kande Duka, moment to moment in then then Apite Duka Handunagan Puluan de Ekavilava Pancho Padanas Kande. Other Pancho Padanas Kande Dukai Kela Tava Api Komada. How do we connect that to this arising is suffering? Uthoda arising hinda anivaring shea venava, hari panchupadana skande madukai, hari, the rising of the panchupadana skande dukai, kani manasai nama sahrupa, tavamuno da pitiki anati. So, Nahasa monot arisen in a tongue, etanadukat nakian. 
ඒක මොනවත් රයිස් වෙන්නේ නැත්තම් එතන දුකක්ුත් නැහැ ලක්ෂ්මන් what did you want to say Dante I was going to say anything that comes in contact with our five senses six senses that leads to dukkha that leads to dukkha hari eke otukota that leads to dukkha otukota attatama hama deyakma dukkha den lakshman mema api kiyuwoth den then uh, because you had a thought right well, let us say because you had a thought okay let us um, um you know let us go let us go let us say um you know for a nice dinner or a massage or what not right something which is pleasurable or to got that sankhar that arose led to some sort of pleasure hari othora etana thiyena dukha komada api etana therun ganne then pati sambidha marge kiwa nan it can be seen directly that a rising is suffering okay how munuwa de suffering eka and even that is uh, impermanent ne sabante that is impermanent again we are coming again this so this this conversation this discussion is wonderful because then we are again coming to address as you can see that is impermanence nature හරි ඔතකොට මේ විරාගය අනිච්ච දුක්ඛ අනාත්ම කීන මේ කැරෙක්ටරිස්ටික් තුන උඩම වෙන්න ඕන හරි කෝෂලි what are you saying කෝෂලි බන්තේ මේ රයිස් වෙන එකම දුකයි අනිත් එක ප්ලෙෂර් වුණත් ඒ කියන්නේ මේ අන්ප්ලෙසන්ට් වුණත් ඒ දෙකම නැති වෙන එකක් දුකයි ඒක තියාගන්න බැරි වෙන එකක් දුකයි ඒක චේන්ජ් වෙන එකක් දුකයි ඒක ඒ තැනට කොහොමද පේන්නේ කෝෂලේ ආම් සෝ ඒ ඒ ඒ තින් එන එන එක ඒ කියන්නේ මේ ආම් ඒ කියන්නේ විඥානය දැන් ද්වාරයෙන් බැලුවොත් ඒ කියන්නේ පස්ස පච්චයා කියලා බැලුවොත් නද ද්වාරයට ගියොත් ඒ එතන උපදින උපදින නැති එක බලන්න ඒ කියන්නේ උපදින නැතිව राइट when we are lifting to the arising of that suffering then hari arising is suffering e the rising is suffering kila kela um rising um rising is suffering kila kela apita anichathavet yanna beh hari anichathave othukota eka anichathave hari othuk anichathave balanni අනිච්චතාවය බලන විදි වෙනස් දුක්ඛතාවය බලන විදි වෙනස් හරි උතුර දුක්ඛතාවය දියා බලද්දි දැන් අපි කියමු අපි භාවනා කරනවා භාවනා කරන අවස්ථාවේදී අනාගතයෙන් අතීතයෙන් අපි මනස මනෝ සංස්කාර අත්තරලා බයිද ලෙටින් ගෝ ඔෆ් ඕල් තෝට්ස් ඕල් මනෝ සංකාරස් whilst we are meditating we let go of the past and the future and we come into the present moment present moment ke o mom gihin api dan me tika 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 manasi thiyena sanskara nadu nama e tika okkoma yatapat vela kelas tika yatapat vela e mohuthe hondata samadhi gatha vela vartamana watawa the object is we are observing the object othokota nimeda me manase thiyena if you would think to yourself and say oh this is the nature of the world e swabhavaya e avasthavayan wala neda apita therum ganna patan ganne e manasithina swabhavayan when the sankharyan ara godak adu sampurna ma nemi ara aduwen adu wela adu wela attarala 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 thava 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 blissful states so when we go towards a more blissful state of mind <laughs> we realize those vipassana insights starts to flow neither hare 
අනිත්‍යතාවය උඩ වෙන්න පුළුවන් දුක්ඛතාවය උඩ වෙන්න පුළුවන් යම් කිසි මනසේ හෝ කයේ තියෙන ක්‍රියාවලියක් උඩ වෙන්න පුළුවන් යම් කිසි විදියකට මේ යථාර්ථයේ පැහැදිලි වෙනවා අපිට මනෝ සංස්කාර අඩු වෙන්න කිලෙස් අඩු වෙන්න අඩු වෙන්න මෙන්න මෙන්න මේ භාවනාව කියන්නේ දිනු වෙනවා ඔතකොට ඕ වගේ අවස්ථාවක රයිසින් ඊ සෆරින් කිව්වම මෙතන මොහොතක් මොහොත දැන් as we observe this is a rising and ceasing a rising and ceasing a rising and ceasing හරි a rising and ceasing එන්න ඒ අවස්ථාවේ ඉන්නට ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් මේ වේදනාවක්වත් නෙමෙයි පේන්නේ ඔතකොට වේදනානුපස්සනා කොටසක්වත් නෙමෙයි හරි දැන් වේදනාවෙන් හැමදේම මයින um the person who measures everything through the vedana is gone for this moment hari then samanya api hama dema maninne vedanawe kamathi da akamathi da is is a place that i feel comfortable in is is a place that i don't feel comfortable in right if it if i am uncomfortable it should mean that this is a bad place right at least for me right api vedana we approach a lot of things through the sensation of it right sensation of it but at this position we have already now let go of the sensations we are looking at the arising and the ceasing arising and the ceasing of either the body as a whole which would mean the dhatus hmm, as a whole or the mind chittanupassana hari chittanupassana me avastha dekhim right especially at a position like chittanupassana we realize then api khayinma patangatto khaye yam kisi sensation na hata ganna hata ganna etna thiyena chalanayak uda me dewal hata gannawa pavetenawa nathi wenawa මේ හට ගැනීමම ඊ අවස්ථාවේ මේක හට ගන්නවා කියන්නේම චලනයක් එක්ක චලනයක් එක්ක හට ගන්නවා කියලා කියන්නේ කාය චලනයක්වත් තියෙනවා මනෝ චලනයක්වත් තියෙනවා හරි ඔතකොට දැන් මේ චලනේ තියෙන දුක්ඛ ගති අපිට පැහැදිලි වෙනවා ඔතකොට චලන වැඩි වෙන්න වැඩි වෙන්න එතන දැනෙන දුක කියන දේ වැඩි कन्वेन्शनल and go down to the more raw realist form of what is that is through letting go e avasthave den khaya ita passe manasa baluwot manase sankara hadena 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 gatiyak tiyenawa monowa de hadana gatiya avidyawa tanhawa e tanhawai avidyawai uda me jeevithe මේ කර්ම ශක්තියත් එක්ක මේ ජීවිතේ මනෝ ජීවිත ඉන්ද්‍රිය කාය ජීවිත ඉන්ද්‍රිය එක්ක මේ ජීවිතේ ඉස්සරහටත් යනවා අපිට ආයුෂ තියෙන තාකත් ආයුෂ තියෙන තාකත් රහත් වුණාට පස්සේ මේ ස්කන්ධයට පස්සේ ආයුෂ නැහැ ආයුෂ නැහැ රහත් වුණාට පස්සේ මොකද මේ ආයුෂ හදන්න කෙනෙක් නැති හින්දා හදන කර්මයක් ඉදිරිපත් වෙන කර්මයක් දැන් නැහැ මොකද ක්‍රියා සියල්ලම හට ගන්නේ ක්‍රියා සියල්ලම හට ගන්නේ. ඔතන දැන් මේ පුද්ගලයා ආත්මයෙන් මේ අතීත ස්කන්ධයද අත්හැරලා ඉන්න පුද්ගලයෙක් රහතන් වහන්සේ නමක්. හරි. ඔතන මේ ගෙවන්න පුළුවන් මේ ස්කන්ධයත් එක්ක ගෙවන්න පුළුවන් මේ කර්ම ඵල විපාක විඳින්න පුළුවන් කන්ඩිෂන් එක මරණින් පස්සේ පරි නිර්වාණය පස නැති වෙනවා. ඔතකොට මනසේ දුකද ආපෝ පවතින්නේ නැහැ කාය දුකද ආපෝ පවතින්නේ නැහැ මේ මනසේ දුක ගැන අපි කතා කරාම අවිද්‍යාවයි තණ්හාවයි උඩ මෙන්න මේක මොහොතින් මොහොත හට ගන්නේ එකම තමයි දුක ඒ කියන්නේ හට ගන්න මොහොතේ ඉඳන් එක දුකක් හට ගන්නේ මොහොතේ ඉඳන් එක බරක් 
ඒක යම් කිසි විදිහකට මනස යටට අදින දෙයක් කියලා අපිට හොඳට තේරෙනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් මනසේ ඉන්න මනසේ හොඳට නිස්කලංකව දැන් මනසම විතරයි තියෙන්නේ. යම් කිසි හේතුවකට ඒක පාටම කාය සංඥාව ඇති වෙනවා. ඒ තේක කෙලින්ම නැති වෙනවා. ආපහු මනසට විතරක් මනස විතරක් වෙනවා. මනස බලන වෙලාව. When the mind is watching the mind, watching everything else. හරි. කාය නැති වෙනවා. The body has now disappeared the body has now disappeared only the mind is arising and ceasing and then for moments when the samadhi is not strong also this happens no? for the moment when the kaya vinyana arises the body consciousness arises quickly you get a body object and you come back to the mental process at that stage you realize my god oh, sorry gosh right ditti gata vipa yutta othukota gosh the body is far more gross me body eka thiyena ekama dukak mokade body eka e velawe e panchu padana skanda level eke innota when the body arises eke thiyena baragatiya මනසට වඩා තියෙන බර ගතිය ඒකෙ තියෙන ගොරෝසු ගතිය ඒ ගතිවල් වල ගතිවල් තියෙන you know if you if you hold let us say if you hold a, let us say a glass vase no a glass um container right with some bugs in them let's say spiders or you know some sort of creatures in them right now if the creature is calm now you know that uh, if you're not too worse with it and you know um you know it's glass so the creature is not going to be able to get you right but let us say if the bugs are calm you're calm if the bugs are let us say very violent and aggressive when they're trying to get at the glass and all of these things then you hold in the glass you might feel a little bit shaky right now yes it is not affecting you and you're in a just like so the meditator is in a position of observation observing these creatures in the glass just so observing the panchas khanda othora me velave although there is nothing happening at that this moment that could affect the meditator the meditator just like the person holding a glass container or a see through container with some violent insects in them getting a little bit uncomfortable holding this container just so the meditator feels minna meka theme sankhare kienama eka dukak මොකදේ සංස්කාරය පවතින්නේ දුකකුඩ දැන් උදේ නැගිටම ඉෆ් යු ආ ගෙටිං අප් ඉන් ද මෝනින් සේයින් ඔව් මයි ගෝෂ් අයි හැව් ටු ගෝ ටු වර්ක් රයිට් ඒකම දුකක් ඒකම දුකක් ද ෆැක්ට් දැට් යු කාන්ට් බී ඉන් යුවර් බෑඩ් රයිට් ඇන්ඩ් බී දැට් දැට් ඇජිලිටි ඔෆ් මයින්ඩ් රයිට් ද ෂේකිනස් ඔෆ් මයින්ඩ් ද රෙස්ලස්නස් ඔෆ් මයින්ඩ් the surprise of mind all of those natures is a flux the emotions high and low all of flux ek assume there are assume subtle flux and then there are, there are very gross fluxes other than me fluxes thamai mota mota pass api me moting ilanga moment ekata geniyanne ma flux ekakin දැන් බලන්න මෝතක් මෝතක් පාස මගේ මේ කටේ කාය විඤ්ඤත්ති වචී විඤ්ඤත්ති මෝතක් මෝතක් හැදෙන්නේ මේ දෙයක් කරන්නටයි නේද තප්පරයක් පව තප්පර තප්පර පාස මෙන්න මෙතන කට මේ ශබ්ද හදන්න හරි ඔතකොට මෙන්න මෝතක් මෝතක් පාස ඒ තියෙන කාම තන්න හරි හරි ඒ දැන් මේ විදිහට කියලා we can't be absolute like in a coma right we can't but understanding that we have to maneuver we have to maneuver the mind in the you know with understanding with understanding
Because for the creation of kaya vinyati and vati vinyati, etana tien nemu flaksakak. Otogoda ara manase state, the manasa me yatata vatlati na me manasa, right? When the mind is, let us say, close to jhana, ekyanimi manasa samani so mana chitte kata vada vena se manasa. Does that make sense, everyone? Because upon to Rupa Vachara Jana Chitta, Rupa Vachara Jana Chitta arises at the moment of Jana. But what is the Chitta that arises leading up to the Jana, allowing us to attain that position of Jana? Kama Vachara Sobana, Kama Vachara Upeka uh, Sobana Chittas. Sobana Chittas. Ekiani, sobana chitti and kilakiani, utukote kusalak. Hari, utukote e kusalak, kunata kama vacher sobana, kunata me kama vacher sobana, chitte, chitte is far more stronger than a normal kama vacher sobana, taking a usual kama vacher object. Right? Meaning, kilis ausana armuna gun not Ara Kelesvaling Galavine Sankari Tavarashti Maki in Katata. Which is clear, isn't it? Hare, which is clear. Now that mind that arises, that Kama Vachara Chitta in the practice, that Kama Vachara Chitta being in that position of seclusion from the Kileshas allows it to see. Otukote e avastavi me Manusha kinami manasak uda nimi minimitini in teen darmatavi pitra in either. E bavanakar navastaval will. Ethan manusa sanyava king up again, nani. Methanatini yampi darmatava kasanyava king ethan gunni. So that mind is at that moment beyond the sensuous. The moment that you go beyond the five senses, the five sense bases, and with just the mind though, the mind is already beyond the five senses. Beyond the five senses. Although to make a kama vacha chitta kunata, it doesn't mean that you're taking as long as you're not taking that kama vacha object proliferating the kilesha. Mm. Proliferate in the Kilesha. Dukkha as feeling. Sabidanava Dukkha in the Vedana. Then Itanapi Katakare, Manu Chalan and then Hamekma the Chalanea Kilagatu, Manu Saha Kaya, the Kakti Bani, Itakuta Oka Mani Patta Kaya Patra than what? Itana Kaya Mavitrakti Bila, Manasa. Nati Nati Villa again manasa won him a made eight on it patra gana by the reverse with it. The the patra matinava. I nati villa manasa vitratina vastava kutino, manasa nati villa high vitratina vastava kutino. Hari eight manasa nati villa high vitratina vastava kilakiani minimetana um the mind is always there cautiously. Manasa matani. Evunata the saturation of experience only. Yes. Then Anipatravena de can a Kaya Atterla Manasa with Ratina Tanat um Apita Kampia Karan the Behe Manas and He Kaya with Ratina Tan Villata. Mogada at Tatama Manas Kaya and He Manasa with Ratina Tan Villa at Tatama Kaya and He Manasa with Ratin. Amen. Right. At Tatama Kaya and He Manasa with Ratin. Right. Hard. Yeah, completely maintained ඒක samadhi chitte gatiyake samadhi chitte innota samadhi anuwa anikus siyalu deva 
right? The body, other parts, the mind, whatever it is, all of that is maintained. Samadhi thina bale hinda minna me jitte usanagatya kuti enam. Not only does it maintain, but it also heals at the same time. Mokada the samadhi chitta ulluppapuma, al ulluppapuma, which is raises up, right? Hoist up, kusaliti nagatya, right? Dukkha travels down or pain, suffering, all of that travels down, whilst kusala travels up, lighter. Right? Light. Hence, it raises everything up. You know that you're observing, Koshali. Yes, yes. Okay. You know that you're observing. Yeah. observe observe physicality this is nothing entertaining. Make it in a bar. Hari ekan and Nikan Hitan, Harake, Bandalati, Nathan, um, Harak Padakaram, Minusumba, Ividia Bandalati Bama, Poluvala, like, you know, me jail, you people who are jailed and all of those things. You feel tied. Your freedom is completely gone. Your, your freedom is completely gone. My freedom is completely gone. Kayla doesn't very much make us feel good about it. Right? It's not a positive thought ever. It's a negative thought. That freedom make a nahaki in me gati yama tamai dukha ki na dea. That nature where you find it's not the impermanence, everyone. Dukha is not impermanence. Eka anicha. Anicha bhave. Anitya bhave balnota me anitya bhave api munwada karani dukha apadinama. Hari. Ethan a duka kapi pava chikaran, tava deak me, ekan and a gather kunwa inker nutter. Hari api own deak and kunwa inker and a kamati kena. Hari, mokaka excuse that I make a parnadia, make a kadla, make a hirila. Kila kila me, visikran a he to hoena. E vagame a yogia, e vagame a yogia, duka kina de pava chikarno me, letting go, visikran, gather a sudakaran. Hari, Othre Dukadia Balnota make a Visikran and me Dukabalani. Virag Akian me, Akian Yankees deak, Matapo, Peak, an inker la Kunubaki Katadala. I can buy myself another mug. Hari, Okatama Aptarim, Mata, Terra Matakarika, Puja, Kel Matakarika, Gandapulua. Mata Giak Manuseta Hadaladina Magi Gidetta de Akadkaragana Pulwa. Hari Utra Dukka Kila Kiani Mammi Kope Atarla Jeevite Tapa Mankopa Gana Tanagata Papini Nehe Dukka Hari Dukka Apo Mang Eta I will not fall into a position where I need a mug again. What is Anat? There is no cup. There is no buyer of the cup. Matne e bandit nehe. Munuatman hai. Impermanence. Dukkha non self. Hari. Othre dukkhe e dukkha subhave tina. Me vedana wing apita alla napulang guru sumatana tamai me sukha dukkha. Kina me tan. Vedana wing hata gunna. A dukkha. Vedana vingi hatagana. A dukkha. A titanepa. 
මේ වේදනාව විතරයි මේ දුක කියලා නැහැ ඒ වේදනාව කියන්නේ වේදනා චෛතසිකයක් ඒ වේදනා චෛතසිකයේ තෙක්ක තව චෛතසික 38ක් හෝ 36ක් දෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වේදනා චෛතසිකයේ තෙක්ක ඒ යෙදෙන අනිකු චිත්ත චෛතසික සියල්ලම 81 chittas 52 chetasikas 28 rupas is all dukkha satya e kiyanne me vedanavata me vedanava dukak vedanavata vada dukak kiyana ga neme eka anathma bhave ayinota api vadaatmaka kiyana ekin yanne ne vedanava dukak passaya dukak vitakkaya dukak vicharaya dukak මේ සියල්ලම ඉස්සරහට අරන් යන්න එකක් දුක කාම තණ්හාව භව තණ්හාව විභව තණ්හාව all of these things the continuity of whatever there is a flux a flux එක දුකයි කියලා හිතෙන්නේ නැහැ සාමාන්‍ය මිනිස්සෙක්ට සාමාන්‍ය මිනිස්සෙක්ට ඒක දුකයි කියලා හිතෙන්නේ ඔතුට දුක නැති කාලවල් වල when there is no suffering in the world buddhas don't arise because if one cannot see the dukkha of all of this right uh dukkha of all of this then there is no way that the person would have the strength to to fuel one's practice further neither um hamudrana ettakota obanse kiyone den me uh දැන් දුක කියන්නේ දැන් මම මේ මේ මොකක් හරි කෝපයක් අයින් කරලා ආයේ තත්ත්වයට පත් වෙන්නේ නැහැ කියන එක. එතකොට එතන ඒ ටික තේරෙන්නේ නැහැ. එතකොට දැන් කෝපේ දැන් අයින් කරා. දැන් ඒක ටයි මට ආශාව තියෙන්නේ. ඒක මං අයින් කරා නැත්තම් කාට හරි දුන්නා. ඒ කියන්නේ මට ඒකයි ඕන් නැති තත්ත්වයට පත් වෙනවා කියන එකද එහෙමද ඕන් නැති තත්ත්වයට පත් වෙනවා කියන එක ඒ කියන්නේ ඒ කෝපයේ තියෙන එකත් මේ කෝපයේ තියෙන එකත් බරක් right නිකන් හිතන්න ඒ කෝපේ අපි රිප්ලේස් කරමු අර සත්තු ඉන්න ග්ලාස් බාජනේට එහෙනම් හරි දැන් මේ ග්ලාස් බාජනේ තියෙනවා කියලා කියන්නේ මේ සත්තු අපි කියමු නිකන් like a scorpion or like a aggressive spider jumping frothing at the mouth right you are seeing this you are seeing this contain and you are feeling very uncomfortable එහෙමනේ අපිට දුක තේරෙන්නේ එහෙනම් එහෙම නෙමෙයිද දුක තේරෙන්නේ අපිට ඒ කියන්නේ එක වෙලාවට මනසේම පාවී පාවී ඉන්නවා ඒක වෙලාවට කාය කායට එනවා ආපහු මනසට එනවා ඒක නිකන් ෂොක් එකක් වගේ වෙලාවට. හයේ තියෙන බර නිකන් අපි ඔය මාංචු දාලා like we have been made prisoners මාංචු දාලා යම් කිසි තලයකට හිර කළා තියෙනවා වගේ. Like we are stuck on a on a different plane because of these cuffs and uh, මාංචු වලට මොනවද කියන්නේ ඉංග්‍රීසි? මේ shackles hmm? that we have been put in. The shackles that we have been put in. right dukkha that that suffering otokote kope tiyagani ne me kope mage gedara thiyenawa kiyena ekma dukak nikan samara velawal walata you know minusunta gewal wala when they have gold in the houses especially when we live in the west um you know people are very uncomfortable as long as it is at home it's very uncomfortable right when you have a lot of money sitting at home very uncomfortable you want to go and put it ninde yannit neh ha ninde yannit neh samara velawal walata podi sadda kara nagitinawa etchara e vidiyata minne meka therenna patan gannawa etoto e samara nandre mata etana poda balanna prashna deka tak tiyena thawa etekota den otana dukka anityatawe nemei letting go nemei eka viraga karana kiyan den etekota me koopeyata tiyena alimai den me koopeya tibiyoma dukai oye tika balala oka me vedan hamdruke vedanawe ehema e vidiyata etekota dukka etekota balla ibara nene දැන් කෝප දැන් කෝෂලි කෝපේ විතරයි විරාග කරේ ආ තාම මේ මෝඩයට තේරෙන්නේ නැහැ කෝපේ විතරක් නෙමේ 
මේ අනිත් සියල්ලම ඒ වගේම දුකක් කියලා තාම තීරලා නැහැ කෝපේ ගැන විතරයි තීරලා තියෙන්නේ හරි කෝපේ විතරයි තීරලා තියෙන්නේ or like like the person who thinks i married i married badly and poorly not knowing what everyone else is going through with the people that they married api hitanne api patte vitarai e tarra tika okkoma daran gattara passe ayyo mata kasadeyak me pa mata paul jeeviyetteyak me pa kila viraga wenna puluwan e manusyata otukota hari knowing otukota kope vitarai kare eeta kalin koshali chakku vinyane vitarai kare चाकु विज्ञान सोत गान जीवहांडीशन फॉर चाकु विज्ञान ओतर चाकु प्रसाद दी द बॉडी these faculties of the body make a thin a condition like a thin a hinda because this condition is present this is arising uthara kai virage uthara e kai virage not only one part the five parts of the body okay koshali five yeah thank you thank you ramadan then after the five parts of the body right the mind do the chittan pasana चिथापासना विराकरण चिथापासनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशनाशना
right? Because the more the samadhi increases, then you can tell between the mental and the physical. Is that clear? The mental and the physical. The mental and the physical is where you will see Sukha Somanasa, Dukha Domanasa Upeka. That is how you would observe. Right? Earlier you had three key, key sanyas, perceptions. Now you have five. Now you can do five because the mind is very stable upon the Vedana observing. The observing of the Vedana. Right? Observing of the Vedana. Then, in recognizing at this position, you continue till you now see a difference. You see clearly the mental Vedana and the physical Vedana. And the thing that you focus and you observe, make a siyalla manite dukkaya natmai, right? You continue letting go and you keep on observing the nature of this. Let go, let go, let go, let go. You must have Shraddha, faith, to believe that, believe the difference between ultimate reality and conventional reality. If you don't understand ultimate reality and conventional reality, when you are observing these phenomena in your mind, you will not know whether this is further divisible or not. When you do not know, doubt arises. When doubt arises, vichikicha arises, vichikicha spreads like the plague. Anything that vichikicha touches, any object that vichikicha takes, it creates, it creates the lack of vision, right? Everything opposite, everything opposite to clarity. So you cannot see anymore. That is why we observe or we have the teachings which tell us, look here, any type of story that you seem to believe in is a drushti. Nothing is truly known up until it is truly known. You cannot evaluate the nature of the Paramatha by logical reasoning. So letting go of logical reasoning and a loving or there is enough faith in the practice for you to let go gently, progressively, allowing you in stages to experience the depth of that letting go. That letting go and experience can happen all the way up until the experience of the five aggregates themselves. And then when you let go of the five aggregates, there is none. Because there is nothing more than the five aggregates. That is the moment of nirvana, right? The complete cessation, absolute nirvana after death, right? After death, it is everyone is the sukha, the threefold vedana and the fivefold vedana. They are clear, everyone, right? Then we come on to knowing those vedanas, knowing those parts. Right, we realize now there is two types of Vedana. That is physical Vedana and mental Vedana, isn't it everyone? Physical Vedana and mental Vedana. Now physical Vedana, then Yamekta Prashnya Kinna Puluang, or one will come to realize physical Vedana being pleasant or unpleasant or being taken as pleasant or unpleasant, the mental sensation that it is, that is felt and then the physical sensation that is felt, when you break the 
the formed concept of it and allow that reality to unfold, you come to realize that the Vedana is tied so deeply to the Kilesha. Vedana is tied to the Kilesha so deeply. How do we come to understand this as you observe the nature of the mind flowing between pleasant and unpleasant experiences of mind and body? In dealing with these pleasant and unpleasant experiences, the mind arises and ceases, arises and ceases, arises and ceases, taking these many different objects moment to moment. In the taking of object, when one is observing the mind, what one is observing is how the kileshas are, is the chalana, the flux. And what creates this flux? What creates this flux is the second part of the Four Noble Truths, which is the cause of that dukkha. Because of that tanha, now they point the cause of Dukkha or Samudaya Satcha as Tanha, right? Greed. But with the greed arises what the hindrances. The hindrances. So we come to realize, right? Mental suffering can arise as a result of physical suffering. But it can also arise, for example, as a result of bad news one hears or sees and can manifest as worry, anger, fear, etc. This kind of dukkha is overcome by one who attains Nibbana on the third state of holiness. Right? Ekane anagami. As soon as one becomes an anagami. Even before all his mental defilements, kileshas and fetters are discarded. That means before he becomes the arahant, attaining kilesha nirvana. Attaining kilesha nirvana. So you can also see when you go over this document, you will also see that the approach that Sri Lanka takes to explaining uh, the different stages of enlightenment and the approach that is taken by the Burmese is a bit difficult, different to one another. Honey. The Burmese takes the approach, not to say that one approach is right and one approach is wrong. No, both are right. It is a difference in perspective, clearly. Right? Difference in perspective. Whilst <clears throat> in Sri Lanka, we have the breaking down of the stages as Sakurtagami, Sotapana, Sakurtagami, Anagami, Arha. The Burmese seem to look at it from a more Vipassana, Jnana perspective where the cultivation of understanding over reality is what culminates one's sainthood. Right? So when, for example, when it is said, after Sota Panna, one will, there will not arise uh, consciousnesses which is uh, without uh, or with Ditti will not arise. So wrong views will not arise, one will not have wrong views after Sota Panna. That is what is seen as the Sota Panna, right? The approach that is taken to view the different um, the practice is a little bit different, I feel, right? Dukkha in the Four Noble Truths, the cause of suffering. So we have gone over what Dukkha is, right? The cause of suffering. Now Dukkha here, Jatipi Dukkha, birth and rebirth is suffering. With birth, the conditions for suffering increases. The more gross the more gross one's birth is, the more suffering that one is prone to. Right? Jarapi Dukkha. The process of aging is suffering. Vyadipi Dukkha. Disease is suffering. Maranampi Dukkha. 
death is suffering all right these from birth jati on to death marana hari birth is an experience there is nothing called birth it is a word that we give conventionally to refer to a moment of inception right or conception right conception this moment of birth is the arising of sankharas tied to another being proliferating the possibilities of now dukkha arising in one's life birth is an experience it's a time right it's a it's a it's a specific span of time aging aging is a process that takes place of course on a moment to moment level and then aging happens throughout a period of time as well both things that meditators take as object or base to understand what dukkha is now we would say the person lived for let us say and uh, 90 years right for 90 years we've put a year number upon the series of birth aging disease death right disease and death all of these experiences that we see as a through the convention as our life as our life all of those components in life were full of the essence of impermanence suffering and non self right and non self in those moments of aging where aging was taking place where disease was taking place was death was taking place and birth was taking place in all of those degrees dukkha was there right there is no baby that has been born laughing in recorded history we only have one person who was born laughing and that is lao tzu right the chinese the um, philosopher and spiritual nomad lao tzu is the only baby that we know who came out of the womb laughing everyone else came out to cry <laughs> as you know maybe there are special characters here thank <laughs> you excuse me yes sujata did you come no. out laughing as well Yes, you know why, but I want to actually <laughs> tell you about this. You may either believe it or not. Okay. Well, it's a long story. I'll make it in short and tell you. Uh, one of my sisters, when she gave birth to her first baby boy, mm -hmm. my mum, who happened to be close to her, said, "This baby didn't cry, but he smiled." Hmm. At the very inception, very start itself. Really. So, I'm. I would have got a chance of talking about it. Actually, Bhante, that is it. Mm. And that boy is still there. Of course, he's about now in the forties, I think. Mm. He's always with a smile on his face. Mm. Okay. <laughs> And fair, lovely, good-looking chap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Okay. Okay, Sujata. <laughs> Just See, now we have not only Lao Tzu, so we have Sujata's <laughs> nephew. Is it Sujata's <laughs> nephew? <laughs> yeah. Right. Who is also who has also come out laughing and smiling. Right. Yeah. So, exactly. so birth, aging, disease, and death, and then we come on to apiehi sampayogo dukko associating. A person that you do not like is suffering. Pihehi vipa yoga do ko separation from a person that you like is suffering. Yam pichha na labate tam pi dukkang when you do not get what you want it is suffering. Sankhite na panchu pada na khanda dukkha ensure the five aggregates subject to clinging is suffering. The five aggregates. 
subject to clinging is suffering. It is because of that clinging. The clinging is what brings out the wild disruptions, the different hindrances, right, to cling. Now, when you are in a position of meditation, we know because clinging does not arise and we specifically put it away, we experience the calm sensations, insights develop and all of that. But when clinging does arise, then we are in a different mind state, isn't it? The mental state that we are in is different. Right? When clinging does arise. With the seven definitions, the Buddha explains various quite obvious types of suffering in conventional terms. The eighth definition, on the other hand, is more extensive, but it includes all the groups of our existence. I don't believe so, but it is extensive. Panchupadhana Khanda is extensive, but one must realize that this is how we get to the Panchupadhana Khanda. Right. Jati Jara Biyadi Marna. If you analyze any sort of discomfort in your life, can you just look at, just for my um, thing, can you just look at all the suffering that you have in your life and see whether you have a suffering that is beyond these seven please? Amen. <laughs> Amen. I would be interested to know if you have a problem beyond these, these, these seven. Jati, Jara, Vyati, Maranam, Apiehi, Sampayogo, Dukko, Piehi, Vipayogo, Dukko, Yampitan, Labrati, Tampi, Dukkha. Hmm. But we can see very well with these things, changing in time, changes in values, changes in things that we like. When our favorite cereal gets discontinued, um, you know, different things, <laughs> different things you can experience these sufferings, and it will be there. Two different things, everyone. Dukkha Satya Kirakian, when you look at if you're looking at everything from a depressing point of view, right? That is not the practice. You must see the nature. Right? You must see the nature. Meaning, now the mind and the body, the frailty of the mind and the body, if you're looking at the frailty of this mind and body, so I as a meditator, I'm looking at the frailty of my mind and body. Right? Although the mekama, 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 balagani diddi, tamantate hitei me mage body ka vitrada, you will think that your body is the only thing that is frail. No. Internal, external. Internal, external. Just as metana dukha teena ma se, metana pita tukka metana teena dukha. Externally also, this is dukkha. Externally as well. Right. Dukkha. And that nature of dukkha is prevalent and clear in the internal and the external. Internal and external. This truth of Dukkha has first to be known, to be penetrated, to be accepted. After all, one must first realize a problem as such before one can search for and find a solution. Wonderful. Only then can one go further to also find out the cause of this Dukkha, which is craving, right? which is craving. And by walking the path forth, practicing, one will be able to eliminate this cause 
so that the effect plus with all the ceases and a state of freedom from suffering is achieved or realized. Freedom from suffering is a state that is achieved or realized. Right? So constantly working to realize you know, for example, Marana Bayati because I am craving for a good existence. What if I don't get that good existence? Expectation, drushti, right? Expectations, drushti, all of the dhammas. Why else, what would a true practitioner on Arahant, let us say, if an Arahant was in our shoes, like, what would we do? If an Arahant was in our shoes, they would obviously not be having the anxiety over death, that is for sure. But what would they be doing? They would be seeing that any mistakes, any suffering, any karmas that I have done in the past is anicca dukkhanatma. Vartamana mohate thena deval si allama tanitya dukkhanatma. This also arises in seizures. There is anatma here. Their, their minds would be on the ground of anatma. If you have the karma, you it might come into a position where you will have to pay for it. And that can't be taken away even by the Buddha. You, it will only affect you. Otogodami karma gevanama tekama, especially when we are going through bad times, right? Sometime when we are going through going through those bad experiences or bad times. Let us also use that as a way of letting go and thinking maybe this was my bad karma that this just abruptly happened to me. Right? Just abruptly happened to me. And use that as a way of letting go as well. So a practitioner takes responsibility for that panchupadana skand. A practitioner takes responsibility for that. Hare. And by walking the path, that is a practice, they eliminate this cause so that the effect also ceases. Also ceases. Now, Dukkha in the doctrine of Padija Samuppada. Haring. Now, we know that the Padija Samuppada dependent origination with the causes and conditions that we look at is divided into four parts. Causes of the past, effects in the present, causes of the present, effects in the future. Right? Let's take a moment to understand that. The 12 links of the dependent origination are subdivided into four parts upon the state that they are powered or powered through. Right? Take a look at the first part. Causes of the past, everyone. What are they? Sankhara and Avijja Pachya Sankhara are causes of the past. It is because of Avijja coming through the past that this clinging is currently operational. Hare. Now, if you are to take a newborn child, that child sankharas are wholly continuing on the ignorance and the karmic formations of the past. That child, right? Up until the cultivation and the development of that child's senses and the ability to communicate, speak, hear, see, all of that, may the child is not making current sankharas. Rather, in a very a subdued state of mind uh, where often there would be bhavanga chittas running, huh? mental continuum. The second part, effect in the present. Effect in the present meaning 
Avidja Pacha Sankara Sankara Pacha Vinyana. Hari Vinyana. The Vinyana Pacha Namrupa Namrupa Pacha Salaitana Salaitana Pacha Paso Paso Pacha Vedana. Effects in the present. This is what unfolds in the present and the only place. What unfolds in the present? This is the present experience. All right. The third causes of the present craving and clinging when you give this cause when you put this cause in to support or follow the second stage there will forever there will always be then the fourth stage which is effects in the future all right again so we go through that again right you have past conditioning which has conditioned the mind to operate through the agents avijja ignorance and sankara uh, formation sankara mental and physical formations huh? Because of ignorance and these formations, we take objects, we create our world, all of that happens here. You see, contact, six sense bases, mind, body, feeling, all of that comes in here. When the mind is unguarded, when the mind is creating full on creating sankhara what will happen the mind will have the third piece of the puzzle which will proliferate lengthen our time in sansara through giving other effects in the future number four so at the level of number three, while being aware, we try to live without the craving. Without the craving. Creating the future Sankhara. Without the craving, which creates the future Sankhara there. So at every point, through the Vedana, whatever that they experience it, we try to not cling. Not cling. Any questions there? Honey. <clears throat> In the third quadrant, however, we react to unpleasant feeling not only with craving, which is here, which here is rather the desire to have it different, or we can say with aversion, dosa which is always accompanied by unpleasant mental feeling, which as well is a kind of dukkha. Let's go further into the future, whether in this life or the next. In the fourth quadrant, the Buddha mentions decay and death, jara marana, both of which are included in the definition of dukkha. But that's not all. The formula reads in full. Jatipi Dukkha, Jati Pacha, Jara Marana, Soka Parideva, Dukkha Domanasa Upayasa Sambhavanti. Jati Pacha, Jara Marana, which is Jati Pacha, Jara Marana. Dependent on birth, aging and death occur. Worry, lamentation, pain, grief, despair come into a being because of this aging and death. Now, when the lifespans were so <coughs> long, people did not have these long times of despair because people had ample times of health. Ample times of health, right? Now, the moment that you get on your feet, right? <laughs> you count the mountain and get on your feet, then let it take a patanga. <laughs> <laughs> through a window of five years, let it take a patangan. Right? The, time, the lifespan is short. Right? So they did not have this so form of um, lamentation, grief, and despair because these emotions, these strong emotions come to a being when they're also persistent in nature, neither. Especially when you have one after the other, one after the other, you can deal with one problem uh, for a year. But when you have two, three, four, five, six major crises going on, 
<laughs> that makes it insufferable very very challenging and difficult very very challenging and difficult it e vilave shraddhava api atida e vilave tapita dharmiya tekkama dharmiya tekkama mekata moona denna thamai api we had to try to face that through the dhamma as well because the dhamma tha is far more stronger and far more powerful than all of these things that is why based on the dhamma tha we can let go of that craving when the craving is let go of there is no way samsara can be lengthened no way samsara can be lengthened right lengthened now the three types of dukkha we have all gone through which will be which will be the types of dukkha that arises which is dukkha dukkha viparinama dukkha the suffering that owes to change and sankhara dukkha right suffering due to conditionality now sankhara dukkha is the ultimate type of dukkha that we will see in the ultimate reality all the rest will be versions of dukkha dukkha physical and mental pain headaches toothaches death loss worry fear all of that viparinama dukkha insufficiency unsatisfactory nature of things due to their change and impermanence right uh, change and impermanence there are people who would um, suffering can arise at moments where bodies change health health situation change financial economic uh, situations change luck changes mata isara honda vasana vanta gati tika tibba dennan harima muspendu hari e vidiyata e vidiyata saha wena minusu innama right because their luck have changed right um there are people all of that is the nature of change isn't it that is all viparinama dukkha viparinama dukkha and then the last is sankhara dukkha relating to the dukkha that we experience in the five aggregates through our meditation now here we come to see the dukkha satcha dukkha vedana is not dukkha satcha dukkha vedana is a part and parcel of dukkha satcha but not the entirety of dukkha satcha this is very important to understand do you have any um any um questions about this anyone hmm how do we Yeah. But I have a question as usual. Yes. So yeah. And the rebirth and reincarnation are two things, are they? Rebirth and reincarnation. Yes. Uh, well, it depends on the definition. May rebirth and reincarnation. Yes. Yeah. So things. rebirth, rebirth refers to the process of dying and then rebirth. reincarnation is when you're being incarnated isn't it prajata yeah that's like what i want to say the dalai lama is reincarnated jesus christ so buddhism doesn't believe in that does it do we um, um do we not in reincarnation we don't say <laughs> a man is dead and he was reincarnated or something like that the reborn would say Yes, he would say reborn. Why? Karma. He has to be. He was no, born. No, it's very specific. Yeah, because uh, the person is not the same. Neither is a person entirely different. Hi. That's right, man. Then I, I, I want to distinguish between rebirth and reincarnation. Yeah. So, oh, so. Reincarnation means something goes from this life to the next. Uh -huh. So that means there's some something like Atma which goes to the next one, and rebirth. There's nothing which goes. I saw that mm -hmm. in Buddhism we use the word rebirth. Reincarnation means it goes from one birth to the something like Atma goes to the next birth. Yes. So, so we are transmigration of soul. Yeah, transmigration. Trans we are told to use the word rebirth. 
Yes, yes, absolutely. Or to go to now, when you would talk in a Hindu context, when you refer to the rishis and uh, the reincarnations of the different lords and all of that, when we are going into that arena, that is talking about where this sort of God is shifting or being reincarnated from one body into another, right? Yes. Um, we, the word that would often uh, come close to such sort of a thing would be possession in Buddhism, isn't it? Because Buddhists do talk about possession, being possessed, right? Yes. Being possessed, being possessed. So by, that, by By a being, right? Which is, which is also talked about in Hinduism and Christianity as a different thing, which is being possessed. So we do not, in Buddhism, we do not effectively speak about the speak about the reincarnation right yes. um, reincarnation per se but now for example let us say when a divine what the buddha says is when a being is born in the divine realm the being is very well able to or it is within that capacity of the being to look back at one's family Hari. It is within the capacity of divine beings to look back. Mm -hmm. So, Opapathika Sattva Opapathika Sattva Unama, when you are Opapathika, uh, what happens is because you are just spontaneously born, uh, you can remember your past. Mm -hmm. Because it's just a moment, right? Just con mind continuing. But the thing is, um, uh, from the moment that they are born, the the, the pleasures that they undergo through their experiences so much so that, uh, you know, some of them are not bothered in looking back. Sujata, let us not go into that arena. <laughs> Right, yes. may, but Antara Baba also we have spoken of this a couple of times where yes. it uh, talks about but Antara Baba in Buddhism would also be seen as a Baba, a new fresh Baba, right? Mm -hmm. Now, for one to say, Oh, this is not the state that one should be in, is completely against the Dhamma. No, one is in the state that one has created for oneself. So how could anyone say, oh, you know, this person shouldn't be in such a state? No, this is the state that the person mind took in causing that antra bhava. Mm -hmm. right? Or the conditions that prevailed at the time of death. Like when you have wandering ghouls and ghosts, right, who do not recognize that they have already died. Right, mm. already died. So, regardless, coming back into Dukkha Satya, yeah. right, yeah. the right. Dukkha Vedana and the truth of Dukkha are two different things. Dukkha Vedana is within the Dukkha Satya, right? The Dukkha Satya. So, now the three characteristics. Of existence, Trilak, Anicca, Dukhandi, Anatta. Right. When we look at Sabbe, Sankara, Anicca, Sabbe, Sankara, Dukkha, Sabbe, Sankara, Anatta, Ati. When we are looking at all of these Dhamma, Selu, Sankara, Dhammayan, Anittyai, Dukkhai, Anattai, all conditioned things are impermanent, suffering and non-self. Let's take a closer look at the phrase Sabbe Sankara Dukkha. All Sankaras are Dukkha. But what are Sankaras here? Sam means together, right? Sam. Karoti, right? Together they take shape or form, right? Condition, right? Whatever Sankara. Sankaroti to compose, to shape, to condition. Sankara, one, the composed, the shaped, the conditioned. Now, when you're looking at a Sankara, the second one, the condition, the phenomena which shapes forms. Now, look at this. This is important, everyone. Now, 
at the level of hatija sampad right dependent origination avijja pachaya sankhar avijja pachaya sankhar sankhar pachaya vinyana hari this sankhar how do we gauge this sankhar that is what this answers yeah. when a sankhara when a object is taken as a sankhara how should it be taken one composed shaped conditioned oh, so now that. now when oh, we are shape. taking now let us say we are taking Nama Prakhnyatya Kamu. Let us take the example of a Nama Prakhnyatya name concept. What is the name that we would take? Let us take, you know, silver, right? Silver. Now, silver, let us give silver a body and a shape, right? As well. Now, Silva is this sort of a person. This is the body of Silva. This is how Silva looks like and all of that. Right? Now, Silva, they are Baladi. Right? They, when now looking on to Silva, Silva is a Nama Prakhnyakti and a Nama Prakhnyakti. And when you know a lot of, about Silva, you can have a lot of Prakhnyatis, Dittis, views about Silva, right? Now, when you're taking or when you're attributing Silva as a Prakhnyat, as a Sankhara, what are the three? This is composed. Silva is composed of mind and matter of the five aggregates. The shape. The shape meaning this composition, this physical composition of silver is shaped through what? Shaped through the five, the four elements, right? Four elements. And with one, shabda, gandha, all of that as well, shaped, condition, sankata, sankata. Othukuta, when we are looking at a Sankhara, silver taking or looking at silver as silver is not a Sankhara. Is not the taking of a Sankhara. Taking of a Sankhara or looking at or how do you look at a Sankhara? You see the Sankhara in its compose, in its shape or in its conditioned form. So at the end, yes, silver is a sankhara. Is how do you take silver as an object? Now let us say if you're looking at something very good to look at, very nice to look at, very pleasant to look at, something which is easy on the eyes, right? And you have the lobe arising in as well. Now, when you're watching this as a sankhara, we are taking away the composed of the pleasure aspect of it, and we are looking at it as composed, as shaped, as conditioned in such a way. And the sankhara that clings to this, the avijja, brings on all the dittis, all the views, and all of that. Avijja pachaya sankhara. Avijja Pachya Sankhara. But when you are attributing the Sankhara as a Sankhara, you are observed. Do you get my point, everyone? Right? When you are observing Sankhara as a Sankhara, now when you are observing or looking at Silva as a Sankhara, now remember you have to look at Silva or take Silva as object for the fact that he is composed, shaped, conditioned. As an object, no he or she, but as an object. If there is a he or a she, that too is a condition there. That too is a condition there. A matamata, to that extent, 
letting go of that version that we think is so and going into the nature of understanding avijja pachya idana sankara meka therinna therinna ara sota panna sakuddagami anagami arahat ari harahat states depending on the context sankara has different meanings one mental formations when speaking of the five aggregates sankhara kanda group aggregate of mental formations mental formations so all of these sankharas mental formations are 50 out of 52 mental factors except vedana and samya to which separate khandas are dedicated that means mental formations our emotions and qualities of the mind that shape or form the mind right we the our um, emotion and quality of mind that shape and form the mind right shape and form the mind second one so first one mental mano sankhara kamma sankhara hari in the doctrine of dhava parijasna upada avijja pacha sankhara and pacha sankhara pacha vinyana in this context sankhara refers to karmic formations also called karmic forces or relational activity which lead to becoming and rebirth here sankhara should be seen as identical with kamma or chetana intention volition motivation motivation right kamma sankha the third one sabbe condition phenomena in the sentences sabbe sankhara anicca sabbe sankhara dukkha as well as in speaking of sankhara objects in vipassana meditation or in the insight stage sankhara upekka jnana here sankara means things condition phenomena or condition realities so at this level there will be no beings only conditions only 81 chittas 52 chetasikas and the 28 rupas at this level othukutara kaling avastha wal wala from the breath the body we come into the breath transgress into or from the kaya anupasana from the body from the samuti world we come on to the breath of the dhatu manasikara from there we go up into the samatha vipassana those practices into breaking the gana samya continue breaking the gana samya when we break down the compactness of phenomena what we are left out with is this sankara sabbe sankara anicca sabbe sankara dukkha sabbe sankara anatta har sabbe sankara anatta vayadamma sankara appamadena sampadeta in these the buddha owing to these different sankharas that arise vaidamma sankhara appamadena sampadeta we must strive we must strive to not fall prey to that avijja and sankhar those karmic energies that come forward because remember our whole existence with the bhavanga rising and ceasing make okkom durande karmic energy ka so whether you like it or not you're push forward whether you like it or not you're being push forward why your life is maintained on a flux of karma there's a karma energy continuing right karmic energy continuing you even let us say if you wish or hope that no i hope things now come to an end very soon but as long as if you have the karmic potency to go on until 120 you will go on until 120 right you will go on until 120 but during this time vaidamma sankhara appamadena sampadeta 
ఏ సియలు సంస్కార ఇన్ అండర్ ఆల్ దోస్ సంకార వి మస్ట్ ట్రై టు నాట్ క్రియేట్ ఫర్ద సంకార టు ప్రొలిఫరేట్ ఆ లైఫ్ ఫర్ద టు ప్రొలిఫరేట్ ఆ లైఫ్ ఫర్ ద లెట్ ఆ స్టాప్ ద ఆఫర్ టుడే ఎవ్రీ వన్ let us stop there for today i will see you all tomorrow for the thursday class take care everyone and tiruvan sarana tiruvan sarana is